Hello, this is Cleantech Business Club once again from Ari Plus from the sunny California. And now we are together with uh, Christopher Sanderson, who is Director of uh, Business Development and uh, Proposals at our partner company, Dusan Grid Tech. You look uh, very nice, uh, Christopher, even though yesterday we had a late uh, dinner, yes? Yes. And thank you so much for uh, driving me uh, to my hotel. And uh, uh, Christopher, could you tell us more about your story? Well, I've uh, been in the industry for a number of years now, and I've worked for a number of different uh, manufacturers. Some of the bigger electrical manufacturers, the GE, the Siemens, the ABB, the Schneider Electrics of the world. And so it's always been in that renewable space. Okay, so you are, let's say, a clean tech guy. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, what was your motivation, uh, you know, to join Dusan Grid Tech? Well, I was actually very excited about uh, the overall solution that uh, Dusan Grid Tech actually brings to the customer. So, everything from the EPC side, as well as the construction side, as well as the uh, equipment as well. Uh, what are your objectives? Yes. I mean, like in terms like a personal objectives, but also, of course, for the company. Well, my, my personal objective is do the best job that I can do with the knowledge that I have. But my overall objective is actually just really working with the customer, helping them understand exactly what they're looking for, and hopefully we can provide a solution. And if not, we'll at least give them the information to be able to go forward with somebody else. And how do you see, you know, the situation on the U.S. market uh, when it comes to energy storage? Especially on the uh, utility side of things, there's a lot more activities uh, in the U.S. as well as specifically where I normally represent the southwest area. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of customers trying to figure out the best solution for their utility grid system. You are working for the big guys, yeah, for yes. the big companies. And uh, in the past, uh, they were quite uh, reluctant when it comes to renewables. Yes. And uh, what is uh, their attitude right now? Well, right now it's actually a lot more open than it's ever been. Uh, so, especially with the new uh, act that's been uh, signed, there's a lot of uh, proportional funds that's available uh, for uh, companies to at least try to bring in renewables into their system, specifically around the storage aspect of things, to try to do some type of load shedding in some applications, as well as just to provide a low-cost solution uh, to their uh, customers. So, when you meet your customers, what are the major challenges that they see and what are their key questions? Well, the number one thing is they don't know what they don't know. <laughs> and so, so uh, someone like uh, Doosan Grid Tech, we're actually able to really help them scope out exactly what they're looking for and come up with a possible solution within their budget requirements. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes it takes a little bit more of an education process mm -hmm. of what technology is available, what solutions are available, and what's the best way to meet their uh, timeline. So right now, with the way the economy is, uh, both from a uh, recovering standpoint from uh, COVID, uh, as well as just... Uh, the growth aspect. There's a lot of uh, supply challenges right now. Mm -hmm. And so some customers uh, may think that, you know, they have a two year horizon. It may actually be double that, mm -hmm. depending upon what particular equipment they're looking for. Yes, because actually uh, there is a shortage, yes? Absolutely there is. When it comes to uh, the technologies, yes, which exist on the market, uh, mm -hmm. how, what is your opinion? Which technologies are the most uh, promising? Right now is lengthening uh, ion right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other um, technologies that's been talked about. But at this point in time, it's more on the research side, but not on the commercial side of things. And so I'm excited about what the future is going to look like, uh, although lithium is going to be here for a while until a better solution comes across. Okay, so you say that uh, for the moment, everybody is focusing on the, you know, well-proven technology, yes, that is easy to scale up. And then the new technologies is a bit in the future. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you attended uh, today's event, yes? And what do you think about the event? Because I was quite surprised that, you know, the room was overbooked, yes? yes. <laughs> well, I was, I was actually uh, quite surprised as well uh, in trying to find a seat. So if you came late, you were standing up, listening to the presentations. And if you came early, you was able to sit down. But a lot of good discussions, everything around which particular standards to follow mm -hmm. or how to interpret certain standards. And I think that's going to be an ongoing challenge uh, with uh, the way technology is advancing. And so uh, it was very interesting, at least in my particular uh, session I went in, we had a lot of uh, interesting debates, if you will, mm -hmm. about the standards and which one applies versus, a, versus another standard. Because there is so a lot of different producers with uh, so a lot of different products, yes? And how to come up with uh, one standard. Correct. And I think that's going to be an ongoing challenge as this market continues to mature. But I think that we're selling on a couple of standards and I don't want to... Um, 
share too much in reference to, to uh, which particular one that I believe because it may actually change. But uh, there are some very good uh, standards um, that are being developed or are actually in existence. Mm -hmm. And so just a matter of the customer themselves educating themselves about which particular standard to follow when it comes to their energy storage systems. You know that uh, in the past there was mainly solar energy, afterwards there was solar plus storage, mm -hmm. and now there is also electrical vehicles that mm -hmm. you can connect to the grid that they become also storage solutions. So how do you see the future of the whole system? There's going to be a lot of distributed energy resources on the grid. So the question becomes in my mind is that how do all these different systems communicate with each other? How do you uh, manage all those different uh, resources? Mm -hmm. Which particular resources uh, are available versus those that are not? So if you're looking at solar, you definitely have to have sunshine, right? Uh, but what if you have a, uh, a period of time where there's not a lot of solar out there? Same thing from a wind standpoint. Mm -hmm. And so how to manage all those different resources is going to be very key for the customer to really understand and what's available. And I think that uh, artificial intelligence will be helpful here. Oh, very much, very much. And, and that is definitely the new domain, if you will, is that artificial intelligence side of things. So yesterday we had a dinner together, yes? Mm -hmm. So we had uh, the first introduction, yes? And in our club, uh, very important is uh, together we are stronger because we believe that it should be the must and not just a slogan. And what is your opinion about that? Because you are working for so a lot of different companies. <laughs> Well, you know, at the end of the day, you have to keep an open mind about all the different technologies that's available. And so uh, that's what I try to do when I'm looking at proposals and actually talking to customers to see exactly what they're looking for, mm -hmm. as well as give them some guidance and, and uh, of understanding the different, uh, how the different systems are going to really interact with their overall solution that they're looking for. And uh, on the human basis, together we are stronger? Yes, very much. I think that there's a lot more international collaboration, if you will, than it's ever been. And I think it has to be because of the demand itself. Uh, and so you're not going to find a one country source solution um, in the United States or anywhere else in the world. And so you have to be, really understand the importance of those standards and how they all interact with each other. So do you remember still uh, what is our uh, flagship sign? Thumbs up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you so much and thumbs up for renewable energies mm -hmm. uh, for energy storage yes for the clean tech system yes mm -hmm. and for uh, renewable energy plus event because actually it's quite amazing very much very much thumbs, thumbs up, up. <laughs>